Good to be here, man. Uh, I just moved uh, to LA from New York not too long ago, and I found out uh, LA takes um, COVID a little bit more seriously than New York, so I've been doing a lot of shows like outside, specifically in parking lots. I've been doing a lot of shows in parking lots, and I don't know if you guys have been doing parking lot shows, but the biggest difference is when you're not doing well on an indoor show, um, you might see people like walk up and leave, and that's fine, but when you're not doing well on a parking lot show, you will see a couple stand up and walk to their cars, <laughs> and you can hear them turn on the engine. <laughs> have you ever been heckled by a Nissan Altima? <laughs> that shit is brutal. Man. But I'm happy everything is opening back up again. You know, I know coronavirus was so scary for a long time. I remember when it first started, uh, it was especially scary for Asian Americans because every time Trump was say the worst Chinese virus, there was violence against Asian people in this country, right? And things got so bad in New York that the Attorney General actually created a hotline for Asian people to call and report hate crimes. And I feel this is a great idea, but I can tell there's no money behind this project because I tried calling the other day and I swear to God, it was like, hello, thank you for calling. Para Espanol, I said, who the fuck is this for? Okay, like, can, can I report this? This is the hate crime. I found it, it's right here, I found it. Like, you tell me somebody's calling, being like, Hola, me llamo Angela Chang, and, um... <laughs> People keep asking me to go back to mi casa. Like, nobody... <laughs> Angela does not talk like that, you know? It's ridiculous, man. I don't know. I am, a, I am a horny man. Sweet transition. I'm a horny man. Yeah. I've been trying to sex more recently, man. You guys sex? Clap it up if you sexed. <laughs> no? Really? Am I the only one? Oh God, I'm such a creep, ill. Um, no, I've been sexting, dude. Um, but it's very difficult for me to sext because I don't know if you guys can tell from my energy. I'm a very positive guy. And uh, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable for any reason. And I was thinking about it and I've actually never texted anything in my life without adding an LOL uh, or an emoji after everything I type. I don't know if you guys have friends like that who are like really nice all the time. How's it going? Hey! You know, just like, <laughs> just like so many exclamation marks for no reason. You can ask me anything. I heard your mom passed away. Yes! <laughs> And I realized you cannot sex with this kind of mannerism, you know, because it's not hot to be like, I'm so hard, ha 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 I'm gonna bench over and fuck you up, sassy emoji. Like, <laughs> she sends a new titties. Like, it doesn't really. Here's how bad I am at sexting. Uh, one time, well, this is true. One time I sent somebody um, a PDF of my penis. Not a dick pic, but a penis PDF. A PDF, if you will. And, uh, I, I, you guys laugh, but I don't know if there's any IT professionals in the crowd tonight, but uh, I did this because PDF is actually the highest quality of image. Um, <laughs> you can send somebody over the internet. This is true, okay? It's, it's ready for print in case they have a printer or something. <laughs> so one time I liked this girl so much, I thought she should see my penis in 4K. So I sent her uh, a PDF of my penis and I'll never forget what she said. She was like, I saw the, like, the three dots on the iMessage and she was like, yeah, I'm not gonna download Adobe Acrobat for this. That's like, <laughs> and I was like, no, but you get like Photoshop and Premiere, it's a great deal, you know? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm 32 and I, uh, I recently started working with a new therapist. Um, she's great, you know, I had to get a new one when I moved here uh, and she's really great. And I've been enjoying our time together, but um, she looks very young. And recently I got curious and I asked her how old she was and she told me she's 25 years old. <laughs> I'm 32, she's 25. And whenever I tell the story, all my friends are like, dude, isn't that weird that your therapist is Gen Z? Isn't that weird? And I'll tell you what, I don't think it's weird at all because she's a professional, okay? It's not like when I walk in, she greets me with a vibe check. You know what I mean? It's not, <laughs> not like that, okay? She has a clipboard, she went to college. It's great. I feel people just don't trust Gen Z in general, you know? I didn't really know what Gen Z even was until I read an article about it on the New York Times recently about the definition of Gen Z, and the New York Times defines Gen Z as somebody born after 1997, or, and this is true, not my words, New York Times, or doesn't remember 9-11? <laughs> and when I read that, I was like, why did they use such a violent reference point? You know? I feel there's so many other fun ways to measure time, right? They could have said anything. They could have been like, born after 1997 and only remembers Fast and Furious 5 and up, you know? <laughs> Born after 1997 and doesn't remember two girls, one cup. Like there's so many, <laughs> so many ways. So many ways we could have done this, New York Times. 
Sorry about that. That was kind of a gross joke, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I like performing for young people, though. Uh, I like performing for young people, mainly because I always learn something new when I do. Recently, I was doing a college show, and I learned that the way college students introduce themselves today is very different from when I was in college. Like, the girl who hired me, the student hired me, she came up to me, and she's like, hello, my name is Jennifer, I'm a sophomore, my pronouns are she, her, and I'm bicarious, biromantic, and bisexual. And I was like, okay, first of all, bars, okay? That shit, <laughs> that shit's tight. Uh, second of all, uh, I'm into that. It's very progressive. You know, it wasn't like that when I was in college, and I wish that it was. I think I'm into it. But then the problem is, then she went like, okay, now you fucking do it. Like, now, now it's your turn. And I never introduced myself at that speed before, but I didn't want to be rude, so I was like, oh, for sure, 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 for sure. <laughs> Um, my name is Fumi. Um, I am a grown-ass man. Uh, um, my pronouns are he, him, and um, my, my, uh, my, 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 my paychecks are bi-weekly. Uh, <laughs> she didn't like that one. She didn't enjoy it at all. When I first moved to LA, uh, I moved to this neighborhood called West Hollywood. And not that it matters, I, I didn't know that was like the gay part of town. Um, when I told my friends I was moving there, all my friends were like, oh dude, that's Boys Town, West Hollywood, that's Boys Town. I thought they meant boys like, that's my boy, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a bunch of guys named Trevor pounding White Claws, when in reality, it's actually a bunch of guys named White Claw pounding Trevors. You know? <laughs> um, I had it mixed up, that was on me. I didn't do the research, it was, it was the opposite. You know? So basically, I was like hanging out. There's a lot of you know gay bars around where I live, and uh, I was hanging out um, at a, a, gay, a gay bar after work, just drinking a beer, chilling. And I had my phone on the bar, and this gay couple next to me was like, "Hey man, you might want to put your phone away because it'll get stolen." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he goes, "Are you gay?" I'm like, "No." And he goes, "Well, if you don't know, gay people in West Hollywood, we steal phones, so you should put your phone away." <laughs> and I was like, I, I, was there like an email about, I don't know. I've never heard about this, about the gays. I've never heard of this. And he points to the door and there's like a big sign that says beware of phone theft. And I Google it and this is true. Like apparently in West Hollywood and gay bars, gay people steal phones now or something. And that's when I realized, um, although I think stereotypes are problematic, um, I love new ones. <laughs> because, I think it shows you how stupid stereotypes are, right? Like when he said that, I immediately pictured like a, a young boy coming out to his father in Alabama and his dad being like, no son of mine is gonna steal a Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> That's so dumb. Right? 20 years from now, some seventh grade boy, when he's making fun of his friends, instead of being like, what are you gay? Bah, he's gonna be like, what are you gay? <laughs> That's how dumb it is, you know? It's crazy. I don't know. I'll leave you on this. I, uh, I recently went to this uh, concert with my friend and his little sister. And his little sister, she's in a sorority in college. She goes to Syracuse. So she's one of those girls when she starts drinking, um, she starts talking like, yas, bitch, Uber, bitch, yas. <laughs> we all know people who talk like that. And it's fine. She's 22. It's totally fine. But um, we were celebrating because when she graduated from college, she turned down a job at Google <laughs> to join the army. Okay. <laughs> So this was her goodbye party before she went off to basic training. So we were dancing, drinking, having a great time. And then in the middle of the show, the singer was like, or the, the, the singer was like, I would like to dedicate this next song to the military. And all of a sudden she stands up by herself and she goes, yes, army, woo, army. <laughs> and that's fine, because she's 22. My, my first thought was like, dude, I hope you're not gonna talk like that on the battlefield. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I hope you're not attacking bad guys like, yes, drone strikes, bitch, yes. <laughs> She's stabbing soldiers like, slay, bitch, slay. <laughs> she throws a grenade, bye. <laughs> hey man, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>